Hello and welcome back. So in today's video, we're going to continue our Security Plus Labs. And today's video, we are going to look at configuring a BPDU card on a switchboard. So BPDU, it was, it had something to do with broadcast. So bridge protocol data unit. Yes, bridge protocol data unit is a Broadcom Storm. Spanning tree protocol. All right, so let's start the Ubuntu. Ubuntu is now if you want, if you have your own setup, you want know, to follow instructions. Here are the instructions on this side. And rest of them here. All right, so let's get started. So if you know what happened, it's showing less, but basically if you have a lot of uh, devices and each device has a direct connection, this other devices, they are interconnected, like all these uh, uh, like there were more multiple devices, multi uh, more devices uh, connected to them. So they will start going in a loop. For example, uh, I cannot explain in this one because there has to be a few more devices here. But that that is what it protects against. It gives a dedicated route, say, okay, if you wanna go to the internet, this is your way out. If you want to go to the device connected to your devices, your own device will handle. If your device is connected to this device, then you're sending data here then it's gonna pass it over here. So it, it's beautiful. Uh, if you if you have the full topology, uh, you, you can uh, visually, it's beautiful. All right, so from the left sidebar, we're gonna open the putty. That is this one. Clicked it. 5001, so we're gonna pop, chain port to 5001 and the host is 172.16.43.128 telnet and click open to open the iou terminal now this one is all right iou you can see that's the prompt over there So we are configuration terminal, enter configuration command one per line and with control C. We, we are telling it it's interface E1-2. Ethernet, so basically interface Ethernet 1 over 2. Next we spanning tree. B P guard enable invalid input detect at marker okay spanning dash three B P uh, D U guard enable okay and uh, the next show spanning tree all right so i have my confirmation over there now what we're gonna do is we're gonna show spanning free integer e1 over 2 detail and let's see what we get so we have this one all right so Right there, BPDU guard is enabled. We should uh, we should uh, have 
ran this command earlier to see what the bbd guard did can we go ahead configure t can we disable it that is the nope all right so we're gonna click the check button at the party control reflect yes close the window like this close this session check button to check if the data is synchronized okay all right good all right so very simple video i hope this has helped you if it has please rate comment subscribe and share and i see you in the next one